there. So today I'm going to be potting my geranium seedlings that I've been growing for about a month now in like a little one inch cell. Uh, I'm gonna pot them up into a bigger, I think it's like a four inch uh, cell. So they are doing really great. I've got four different varieties of them and I had 10 plants of each and then the Swallowtail Garden Seeds Company that I got them from gave me an extra of each one of the varieties. So I ended up with 44 plants, but one of them didn't pop up. It like tried to sprout, but it was just stunted for some reason. But that's okay, I have three extra than what I had planned for. So I've got 43 all together. And as you can see, it is a beautiful day out here. I wanna say it's like almost 60 degrees. It's just wonderful. I probably could take my jacket off here, but there is a little bit of a breeze, so I'm keeping it on. Uh, but it's just clear blue skies, just so sunny, warm, and beautiful. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do part of this outside. We're gonna do it right here in the driveway. Uh, I just went up to Home Depot and I got three of these large pot seed starter trays. It was only like seven, it was seven dollars I think for this and I can reuse it. Um, I mean, I didn't think seven dollars was like a great deal or anything. I didn't think it was terrible, but I didn't, didn't think it was awesome. But I thought, you know what, I can just reuse these. There's 18 cells in each one of these trays. I got three trays, so I'm gonna fill up 43 of the cells. So two full trays and then some extra in the third one. All right, so let's get going. Got some of this potty mix at Home Depot. It's just some miracle Go potting mix. Just pretty much what's available to me. And it's actually pretty wet already. I am gonna add a little bit of water to it, but it's actually not too bad because they had it, this was outside, and they the guy said they, that they had just brought it from outside and it was sitting, it had been sitting inside for a couple of days. So it's still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna put some water in it. Start the little plants off right. Ah, you can see it's a little windy out here. Alright, that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to fill these up. to contain my mess. Okay, that one bucket full almost filled up this whole thing. There's three right here that it didn't fill up, so that's good to know. A little, a little bit higher this time. Yes, can you move or no? Oh, are you leaving? I want to see my brother in a minute. All right, yeah, I can scoot over. Sorry. Oh, it feels so nice out here. I was actually debating on whether to <clears throat> do this or go out in the actual garden and clean up because it's just beautiful. And I'll have to show you some of my bulbs are already popping up, but um, Nate's gonna leave, so. His truck sounds like a dead ending. A little windy 
out here. Um, but anyway, I was gonna say, I debated on whether I wanted to go out in the yard, which I might actually do still if I have time. But I'm so busy at work. Uh, this week I'm driving down to, I live in Michigan, and this week I have to drive down to Indianapolis to meet one of my employees. And uh, then I have to drive to Dayton, Ohio to meet another one of my employees and I'll be gone for two days. And I thought, I don't really wanna leave those geraniums in there for too much longer. Like they are ready to be up planted. And I I don't want Nate to have to worry about like keeping them watered or anything. Although I haven't really had to water them too much because the, the trays I got for them you just water the bottom and they soak it up from the bottom, which is awesome. But anyway, well, that was perfect. That filled that whole thing up pretty much. Have to get a little bit more for that. But anyway, I was like, I kind of just want to get the geraniums painted because I don't want to have to, you know, have it go any any more days with, with them sitting in those little tiny one inch cells. They really need to be planted. So this will, this will be nice to get this done and and then maybe tomorrow if I have time I can go out in the gully and clean some stuff up. But tomorrow I'm busy too because I have sing at church in the morning and then I also have to sing at another uh, worship concert or something. I, not worship, not a concert, but like it's like a worship night where we sing a bunch of worship music um, that we're holding actually in our gym that we own, so that would be kind of cool. So I don't know how much time. Okay, now how many cells, so that 18 plus 18 is 20, 30, six, 36, <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, so 18, wait. Um, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, or 43, right? So I just need, these ones fill. I need seven more filled. Okay. Terrible at math. In fact, I was just over visiting my two nephews and my niece. I was going to drop something off for my brother. It's his birthday tomorrow. And they were showing me all the stuff that they're learning. They, they do homeschool and they're so smart. They were like showing me all their math problems. I'm like, you guys, I, I don't, like, my brain can't handle this right now. I I already had to do math in school, and I graduated, and I'm not, I'm, we're not looking back. Like, we're done. <laughs> uh, they're also so cute. They, like, they're super musical. Our family is super musical, and my brother is teaching them to, like, sing and play instruments and stuff, and they were singing a worship song that we love and my my nephew Elias was playing the drums my nephew Simeon was playing the bass guitar and my niece Maddie was singing and my brother's playing the acoustic guitar of course but it was just so cute oh my gosh I could have stayed there all day and listened to them but well Maddie didn't sing for me live, but I got to see a little video of her singing later on. All right, I think that's right. So 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Oh no, that's not right. <laughs> 41, 42, 43, there we go. Now the rest of this I, I'm gonna do inside because I don't really, Although it is really nice out here, I don't know if I want to bring the geraniums out here just yet. It's not that warm, uh, and I just don't want to chance them being shocked. So I'm going to clean this up, bring my trays inside, and then we will get the geraniums planted. These are my geraniums. You can see they're getting really big. Oh, hey bud, you going to help us? And definitely need to be transplanted so I'm pretty excited about them yeah they're looking really great I love the color on the leaves so let's let's get to it a little, a little hole for me, 
He's like stepping right in there. Uh, so I'm gonna start with these Maverick pink geraniums. And I'll transfer the tag here. I'm just gonna like squish the bottom a little bit. Gently pull it out. And hopefully the whole thing comes out. Yeah, pretty good. And then we'll get it in the hole. And then I'll take these directly from these and put them in the, in the uh, pot. I'll probably put them in pots this year. And then these you want to clean, clean them regularly. If the, when the leaves start turning yellow, you just go ahead and pull those off. to get my hands in the dirt. A lot of times when I'm outside, I gotta wear gloves. So it feels good to have my actual fingers touching the, the dirt. This is that one that never came up. There was a, a little tiny sprout, but it just never did much.
Now these I planted the other day. I transplanted them from this container. So I think what I wanna do is fill the rest of this up and get these in there. And then also I've got some more begonias that are growing on in here. I might even take some of these out and uh, start putting them in the bigger containers. I don't think, I'm supposed to have a hundred in here. I don't think there's a hundred, but there's a lot, a lot more than I usually have. So I really loved using this method this year. excited I got all that done because like I said I have to be gone for a good 
two to three days uh, with traveling and everything next week and I'm just not going to be able to take care of these as good as I would be able to if I was home and I don't want to have to make Nate mess with them because he'd probably be stressed out. But uh, anyway, I didn't plan on transplanting all those little tiny begonias, but I ended up just doing it. I thought, you know what, I might as well just do it and put them in there because I didn't want them to dry out in those other containers. They dry out really easily in that little container that I had it in. So I just went ahead and transplanted them all. So some of them are super tiny, but I think they'll be okay. I ended up with um, 88 that came up from the 100 that I planted. So I didn't get the full 100, but I got 88 of them. And then my other 20 that I planted, I got all 20 of those. So that's pretty exciting. So anyway, I have 80, 90, 100, 108 begonias, hoping that they all survive in the little cells I just put them in. And uh, 43 geraniums and these are the little tiny begonias i planted they actually had a pretty nice little root on them so i was hopeful about that these are the ones i planted probably a month earlier uh th those big ones and then these big ones in those three the rest i planted a month late uh, and then I've got some geraniums down here and then the other two trays of geraniums here. They're all watered and I just kind of dirtied them a little bit with my fingers, just kind of pushed them in the ground so hopefully they can stand up straight. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you're just having a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and maybe we'll see you next time. We'll see you later, bye. Well, not really edit, but I can show it to Grammy, too. She'd love it. Yeah, okay. come on, Mom. Do it on the family chat. Family chat.